Hi. Tyler and I were having so much fun. We decided to do something else. So um, Tyler's going to try the egg rolls. Go ahead, Tyler. See what you think. I have some uh, duck sauce. What did you call it? Plum sauce. Plum sauce. It's duck sauce, too. Same thing. Um, anyway, you've probably had that in Chinese restaurants. Sweet. I don't go there. Oh, I think you'll like it. Right, try really. it. Um, off the bat, I can tell some of it is crispy and some of it is doughy. Okay. I think that's that would make a nice texture. Yeah? Because hmm. some of it, when you bite into it, won't immediately be crunchy, but when you eat the rest, you'll get uh, like bits of crunch in it. Okay. So. Cool. Well, I hope you think so. You're supposed to dip it in that sauce. I was going to, but... <laughs> not works. Okay. Yeah, it's good plain. Yeah, good plain. Yeah. You can taste the ginger. Do you like ginger? Um, it's that kind of bites your tongue a little bit flavor. Yeah, I don't think I like it. Yeah, you're good. You tried so many things. Yay! <laughs> he did it. Do you like the plum sauce? It's yummy, isn't it? Here, let me give you that. Okay. Tried that. Now That's we're gonna. Really be, good. Yeah, good. Glad you like it. I got more in there. Maybe your dad would try one. He won't, we won't tell him there's onions in it. He'll notice. <laughs> um, so Tyler tried this, and he decided he likes it. Do you remember what they're called? Son tried tomatoes. Very good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put a few of these on. Um, these do come in oil. I did drain the oil. Actually, I did drain the oil, and I rinsed them off because I didn't want all that oil on there. So we're just going to add a few of those and then I wanted to show you something. Oh yeah, the rice is <laughs> Okay, but you gotta have the lid. No. It's not quite done yet. Okay, have you ever seen this? This is Barella. And it's mozzarella. You're like, yeah, it's mozzarella. It's that Barella. But it's different. It comes in water. And we have to drain that. If you asked me the name of that, I would have said Barata. Maybe you're right. Actually, you're right. It is Barata. I didn't read it right. Um, good catch. Anyway, so it's kind of, I love this stuff. It is filled with cream. These little things are like, they're filled with creamy mozzarella. So when you slice it, it's, it, it slices like really, like you're almost slicing something that is cream. But it's so good on pizza. So. So, so it's like cream cheese, basically. Kind of, but it's, you want to taste it? Oh, sure. I'll yeah, taste it. Um, so we just kind of spread it around. It tastes like mozzarella, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. But creamier. It's creamier, yeah. Yeah, oh, I just think it's the best thing. I love this stuff. It's really, if you heat it up, the, the middle of it will get totally creamy. So yeah. all this will just kind of spread on the pizza. Yeah, I think this will be a good complement to the pizza. Yeah. So I, I brought this one out too because I didn't know if maybe you wanted some of that on there. But maybe we don't need it. You want to go ahead and, you know what, just don't use too much. Again, we don't want to overcrowd this because then it gets mushy on the bottom. But you can put this much more on if you want to. Go ahead. I'm going to put these back in. And then when you do put this back in your fridge, you do want to put water in it. Make sure it's cold water. Um, and then it should last for about a week. Once you open it, you only want, you want to use this within a week because otherwise it will get bad. So it's just one of those fresh things that you know you're going to use. It'd be great with um, basil and tomatoes. Slice it up with basil and tomatoes. A little bit of olive oil. Really good snack. You have sounds like little it. breads or crackers. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to pop this in. We're good here. I set my oven for 425, um, which should be good. Also, those are cooking. How long do you put do it you in? Do you smell for? those? Those are the um, other egg rolls. So I'm going to put this in. I'm going to set this timer for about this five minutes that's on the timer is for those. I wanted to check those because it's really easy to forget about what you're cooking. Yeah, I'm going to turn them. Good idea. Good idea, Tyler. You thought of that, right? Yeah. Um, we're going to turn them. The, and then they should be crispy on all sides, which I actually don't agree with you on the doughy part. We don't want them to be doughy. Oh. So I'm going to put this it was. on <laughs> for um, 15 minutes. We're going to look at it, okay? 
So we'll look at those. We're going to get these out. I smell them burning. Perfect. Okay, they're not burning. I thought I smelled burnt. So we're going to turn them. So I'll just do that part because they're, they're, they're kind of hot. But yeah, that's a great idea to turn them. They should really, because it's an air fryer, it should go everywhere, but I, I, I agree. I think it's good to move them around a little bit. I think it's force of habit more than it is anything. I don't know, they're smooshier on that side. Are they? Yeah. So, I'm gonna turn all these. Thank you. Okay, and then we have our timer set for 15 minutes for the pizza, but we probably should check these in 10 minutes or so, or less. Yeah. So we'll just remember. And then I get to have you teach me something. Yay, I'm excited. Yeah. So we're just gonna clean up uh, some things here, get our counter ready for Tyler, because he's gonna show me how to make porcupine meatballs, and I can't wait. See you in a few minutes. When a crisis hits close to home and across the globe, nonprofits are on the front lines ready to serve. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. The demand for charitable services has skyrocketed, and nonprofits are rising to meet the needs. Healing, nurturing, rescuing, honoring, protecting. Caring, inspiring. The work of philanthropic organizations of all sizes across all missions has never been more important. And it's donors and volunteers like you who make all this possible. Thank you. Together, we change the world. The Nonprofit Alliance. Kids across America are going to school hungry. Millions of kids every day. Hungry kids get sick more often and can struggle in school. It can be harder for them to focus and learn. But one simple thing can help change all of this for a hungry child in America. Good healthy food and the energy it brings. With help from caring people across America, no Kid Hungry is providing healthy meals and hope to hungry kids so they can build better futures. We want to ensure that all of our kids have healthy meals every day. Thank you. Thank you for helping feed our kids. To learn more about ending child hunger in America, go to helpnokidhungry.org today. When the world's endangered animals need help most, when their lives are at greatest risk, when they would otherwise be lost, the International Fund for Animal Welfare is there, taking action to rescue the animals we love, to protect them and their threatened natural habitats. But the danger to animals the world over is growing, and the need for your help has never been more urgent. On land, you'll help stop poachers from threatening and killing elephants and big cats for the illegal wildlife trade. In the oceans, you'll help rescue dolphins, whales, and seals from deadly hazards. And you'll help rescue, rehabilitate, and release vulnerable animals when disasters strike. Here at home and around the world, we can't do this work without you. See how you can help animals and people thrive together at joinifall.org. Battles aren't won solely on the field. That's a common misconception. Battles are won within, over enemies of fear, enemies of doubt. In that place where promises are kept. Promises to oneself. Promises to one's community. Promises to one's country.
country. In the heart of every Marine, you'll find a promise. A promise forever kept. A promise of battles won. Hello and welcome back. Uh, Tyler's just washing his hands. Why did you tell me you have to wash your hands? Don't burn them. You've got really hot water, my guy. I noticed that in the middle of the third. I see steam coming from his hands. Um, tell me what you need to do. What's the tool you're using to stir uh, this? Hand tools. Hand tools. Um, I think for this dish especially, um, it's really important to wash your hands. Yeah. Because you, you mix everything in this bowl, in this okay. one bowl, with your hands, because you can't do it with nothing else, maybe a like machine it. mixer. Uh -huh. But I always like doing my hands, because more hands on. More hands on. And our pizza's in the oven, so just bear with us. We're going to, go ahead, you can keep going. OK, um, we ha I have two and a half pounds of, I'm not going to use all of this uh, here, but I'm going to do, eight, it's 80-20 ground beef. Um, I'm just going to put it in the bowl. And do you think if you wanted to use ground turkey, you could? What do you think? I bet you could. Yeah. I've never tried it, though, so. I don't want to throw that off the side. Yeah, I really don't want you to. <laughs> but then I'll have to get a new bowl, which I like to buy new stuff. So. There you go. So I'll put that there in there. There you go, right here. Okay. Do you have an egg? Yeah. Okay. That's, <laughs> cool. That's another thing I forgot. It's okay, I got them. I'm glad I have them. Just one. Okay. What does the egg do? What does the oh, egg yeah, do? a binder. It binds the meat together and everything else. That's also what the crackers for. It all binds it together. Okay. So they stay in their form. And do you think this needs to be sprayed or no? With oil? Yeah. No. Okay. No? Um, yeah. Can you, do you add them whole or do you? Um, well, you, you, d you, have, you crush them up. You don't, crush them up. You don't blend them because then they're not like, can you open that? Sure. I have egg all in my hand. Yeah, it's good to know. Yes, I feel. I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you put this whole thing in? Oh, uh, no. No? Just uh, about a quarter of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quarter of it? Yeah. So, like this much? Yeah. You want to do it? Throw them in, you squish. Well, no, well, now you just do this. Sorry. Here, do a couple more. You got so much darn meat. Not that I want to tell you how to do your recipe. I'm really bad at it. I'm like, oh, do you, like my husband will make something else. Do you really want to do it that way? Yeah. Now, I'm just going to open the full one and sprinkle it over. What is it? Pepper. Ground pepper, ground black pepper. And then we're going to add salt. We're just going to put okay. it over. Nice. Very good. And I think that's all. Now we're just going to smash it together. How fun for kids. Well, when this? I first did this, uh, it was really cold. It was like winter time when I first smed this, and my hands were just so cold. Oh, with all of it. But plus, Especially in the winter. Maybe it's good, too, that we left the meat just to come to room temperature, too. Might be. That helps. It's still cold. But Do we add this? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's yeah. going to go Dump in. So in we have some rice, all right? Of it. All of it. Do you generally use minute rice? Yeah. Minute rice, instant rice, uh, usually, but you can also just cook normal rice. What's what's the porcupine part? Uh, it's the rice. Uh, my, I, I got the recipe from my dad, who got it from his mother. Oh wow! And then I'm not, sh I'm not sure how, how far up it goes. So, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just when you were a twinkle in your mother's eye. Very nice. So okay. now we have this. So we're gonna bring it over here. And then you just kind of. Um, and you don't want to overwork the meat, right? Nope. Right. Yeah. You just want to form little balls. Um, I'm gonna make about. L you call in these little? Well, you're you're supposed to make a walnut size, but I like bigger. Oh, gotcha. Because you get more meat. Yeah. So does your whole family eat these? Yep. Your sister too. Well, my sister's never home, so. You've told me that she I, does I'm really wondering if she exists at this point. <laughs> okay. She would if you 
So do you think I it's think important so. to make them all the same size? Well, no, not at all. It's not important. If you want smaller, you can make okay. smaller. You can, make, you can make both. That's what I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so let me just say, you might want to make these all the same size only because then they'd cook at the same rate. Yeah. So you might want to make that one a little bit bigger. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you cooked them before. Well, you, you cooked made them for an hour and 30 minutes. Wow, really? An you hour? You put tinfoil over the top, okay. for, then you cook them for an hour, and then you take the tinfoil off, and then you cook them for another 30 minutes. So they usually all get cooked. Okay. Well, I'm they don't... I'm just thinking they the don't, small one might get overcooked. They don't... They kind of boil because you oh. have tomato sauce over them. It sounds really good. And, you know, it of is, course, I'm thinking about different ways to make it, too. Like, maybe do turkey. Okay, like, just because I like to keep it leaner. But Maybe 16, I think I can make. Okay. Yeah, you, that's awesome. But I think they're going to be so tasty. The saltine crack has got to add a great flavor to it. Well, no, I don't think I really taste that. No? I don't taste it, no. Okay. I think it's it's mainly a binder. Same with the egg. We add both, so it binds really well. Mm -hmm. um, and if you wanted to add like veggies to it, like onions or whatever, you could. Mm -hmm. You had. Did you tell me the recipe started with onions, but your dad doesn't like them? Yeah. But it it usually has onions, but okay. my dad doesn't like them, so we always disclude it. Gotcha. It's a new word. Disclude. I like that word. Thank you. We've all learned something I don't new even today. Think that's a word. We're discluding it. We have now discluded the onions. No, I think that's good. It's a new word. I think you should call Webster. Do you know who Webster is? Isn't it the uh, like? Dictionary. What's it? Yeah. Webster dictionary. What do you call it? <laughs> okay, I gotta check my pizza, and it's done. <laughs> Did you need this water? Anyway, there's the pizza. I will need a bit of water, but towards okay. the end. Okay. Oh, I know it's something I forgot to put on the pizza. We're going to put it on now. Kay. Some organic oregano. It'll be fine because it's still so hot. We have slightly a bit more meat, so I'm just going to... I really... This has such a good flavor. Sorry. So you have a little bit more meat? You could just leave it in there if you want. Yeah. Anyway, put a little bit of oregano. Smell it. It smells kind of weird cold. when you smell it like this, but it adds a really good flavor to pizza. So Lydia, okay. usually I would pour this in here and mix it around with water oh. and then pour it into there, but do you want me to pour it into there or not? You know what? Do what you normally do. Do what you just do said. Do what the first I normally thing. do. Yeah. Do you, are you, do you want to put that in a little baggie or something? Sure. No, just put it here. Put it there. Okay. Do you want me to wash this off? I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. Soap is down here. I just need to wash off the stomach. Okay. Do you want me to wash this out? No. Doesn't matter? It's just, good. it's all gonna That's combine true. anyway. That's true. Here's, take the towel for your hands. My hands are gonna be wet in a okay. minute anyway. He's a true chef, I'm telling you. I can feel that you're like a born chef. Here's water if you need it. Do you, you said you don't need it or you? I'll need, you'll need some. maybe a bit more. Okay. Very good. And just gonna pour these in here. Yeah, I got it right here. More than that? Yeah. Oh, well then. Fill up a can. Let's fill up a can of one of these. Actually, those are the instructions. Oh. Fill a half can of water. But I use more, so. Thank you. Thank you, camera TV person out there. Then you're going to use mm, about less than a cup. You're gonna keep adding water till it's hands for runny. that too. Wow, all hands on here. Oh, sorry. Okay, here's more water if you need it. I use hands on most of this, except for cooking. This is very hands-on. Yeah, nice. And look how pretty they are. So pretty. We have a little bit left over. You don't think we can squeeze that in somewhere? Probably not. That's true. Mm. The pizza's done. It's actually already I think done. That's good. However, you're. Oh, yeah. Um, let's do it for. So, Kay. that's so cool that this was handed down from your grandma. Yeah. <laughs> it's really neat. And is there, is there other things that 
your grandma used to make that you guys make? Oh, she's still, she's still alive. She still makes stuff. Okay. She makes chili, but... Oh, she but still makes stuff. Cool. Yeah, but I'm never at her house anymore. Oh, where does she live? <sighs> Lake Orion. Not that far, oh. but it's just I'm never at her house. It's no? winter, so I don't go there anymore. Yeah. I'm going to try to. That'd more, be nice. More towards summer, I bet though. she'd love it. Okay, okay now. now you've got that connected. You, you don't need any more of that? Nope. Okay, you know. So, like, wait, before you start. So, tell me how you knew that you didn't need more water. Uh, once it's, like, runny. Once it's runny and you can pour it over and it'll smooth itself out. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Because all you you don't want it too watery where it's like water, mm -hmm. but you want it just watery enough that you'll um, it'll spread on itself. Okay. So you don't have to get help. Like if you just put normal to uh, pay to normal tomato soup, it would just like sit there in yeah, a blob. Yeah, kind of clumpy. But if you add water, it moves around a bit and it'll spread itself out. Nice. Okay. Now, we're just gonna pour this on top of this, okay. then we're gonna cover it in foil. Okay. Do you, uh, tell me if you need any help. Okay. I'm just gonna put this in here for you. Oh, what are you laughing about? She thinks I can read lips, and I can't. Kind of, I can't. Okay, do a rag. It's okay. Perfect. You, do you want to add the rest of that? Okay, a little more than I thought I would add. That's okay. Usually I'd put tin foil over this, but it's kind of big, so I'll still I'll still do it. But okay, it's overlapping. Now, where's my tin foil? Right here. Are you done with this? Yep. Okay. Can I add less. Okay, we're gonna pop this in the oven, yep. and how long does it take? Uh, you cook it for an hour, then you take the oh, tin foil off, and then you for another thirty minutes. You. Uh, and what was the temperature for that? Three fifty. Three fifty. I'm gonna change my oven here. Okay. And so we're gonna come back in a minute. And we're gonna try it. So thank you for joining us and we'll be back in a minute. Kids across America are going to school hungry. Millions of kids every day. Hungry kids get sick more often and can struggle in school. It can be harder for them to focus and learn. But one simple thing can help change all of this for a hungry child in America. Good healthy food and the energy it brings. With help from caring people across America, No Kid Hungry is providing healthy meals and hope to hungry kids so they can build better futures. We want to ensure that all of our kids have healthy meals every day. Thank you. Thank you for helping feed our kids. To learn more about ending child hunger in America, go to helpnokidhungry.org today. Military families often sacrifice precious time away from loved ones while serving our country. And for those with children, the separation can be especially difficult. We were worried that with him leaving, that she would lose those connections with her dad. Some of life's best moments happen between parents, children, and the pages of a good book. United Through Reading provides that connection. You can watch your mom or dad read a book to you, and it almost feels like they're really there. We ensure they remain a consistent, meaningful part of their children's lives, no matter the distance. Just seeing Jacob recognize Daddy again after a long time just melted my heart. And now, as we're facing greater isolation from our loved ones, United Through Reading is also available to veterans. Learn more about United Through Reading and download our free secure app at unitedthroughreading.org. When a crisis hits close to home and across the globe, 
Nonprofits are on the front lines, ready to serve. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. The demand for charitable services has skyrocketed, and nonprofits are rising to meet the needs. Healing, nurturing, rescuing, honoring, protecting, caring, inspiring. The work of philanthropic organizations of all sizes across all missions has never been more important. And it's donors and volunteers like you who make all this possible. Thank you. Together, we change the world. The Nonprofit Alliance. One in every 500 African Americans in the U.S. suffers from sickle cell disease. One in three African American blood donors is a match for patients with sickle cell. One appointment to donate blood with the American Red Cross can help save a life. Will you be that one? Visit redcrossblood.org slash ourblood today to schedule an appointment at a location near you. Hello, welcome back. Um, is it done? I believe so. So Tyler's gonna take out his porcupine meatballs. We're gonna try those. And um, you're now using both of those things, but I just, thank you. And I have my pizza here, so we're gonna try that too. There we go. Slides right out. Like I, like I said before, I don't think you'd even need to spray it or put oil on it. Depends how seasoned your cast iron is, though. What's all this about? Uh, that we put on the sauce after we cooked it. Okay. I forgot to include it. Uh, you can just put it on top now. It yeah. thickens the sauce, makes it. Um, oh, gotcha. We Go don't put it put on it before because then it wouldn't spread out. So we. Do you want to put some on? There's already in it. Oh, okay. You put it in last. Just one. put a little bit on. Sure. It'll, it'll look pretty. And it will, it will probably melt a little bit. So look at those. Those, they, those truly look amazing. Here you go. It's all Very good. Wonderful. It's all good. I'll get that. Oh, you didn't drop any. Oh, yeah, you didn't drop any. Look, there's a hand. And she's going to try it. I want to try it. We all want to try it. Cameraman. Hot. Uh -huh. hot, 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 hot. These look so good, Tyler. You did good. Yeah. So the cheese is already on it. Gotcha. Mmm. Delicious. Super good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cut this real quick. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Very good. Thank you for sharing and showing me. Okay, who wants to try this yummy pizza? Me. I know the crust is perfect. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you so much for joining us today. Tyler has to come back. I just loved working with you. Thank you so much Me for too. coming. And you're such a natural with your award-winning smile. I've been nervous this whole time. No, you're not nervous. <laughs> I understand, though. But anyway, how's the pizza? Good. Very good. I actually do like the dried tomatoes. Oh, good. Sun-dried tomatoes? I guess I could give you a plate, but um, there's that and that. Thank you so much, and we'll welcome you back into my kitchen another time. Thanks for coming.